there's an old saying in football, attack wins your games, defence wins your titles. And here are two defenders who know what it takes to do just that. Yapstam, Virgil van Dijk, elite level defenders, European champions and leaders on the field. They have it all. Commitment, timing, strength, power, pace. But if you can only put one in your team, who do you take? This is Football Friends. Let's go. Yapstan versus Virgil van Dijk here on Football Fights on the Bosman View. We're going to break down the careers, talk about each player and find out who you would take on your team. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. But let's get started and let's start off with the man himself, Yapstan. Yapstam started off his career in the lower levels of Dutch football with FC Svall before moving on to SC Kambler where he made 66 appearances. At this point he then decided to move on again to Willem II. This was when he caught the eye of the big European clubs and he decided to stay in Holland and sign for PSV Eindhoven in 1996. It became clear early on he wasn't going to stay at PSV for very long and this is when Manchester United swooped in and signed him in 1998. He instantly became a fan favourite, captained the club in many appearances. It was his commitment, his bravery, he was never scared to put in the challenge and the fans loved him for it. The Premier League was a physically demanding place to play during this period and Yapstam excelled. He made an immediate impact at the club once he joined and with the superstars around him he only pushed them on to bigger and better things. He had the same mindset that every player had, winning at all costs. And with that he was part of one of this club's most successful periods, winning FA Cups, winning Premier League titles and of course he was part of that treble winning season that will go down in history when they won the Champions League in 98-99. Things couldn't have been going any better during this time, however things were going to turn quickly when he fell out with Sir Alex Ferguson, it was time to leave, and on from here he moved to the surprise team, Lazio. He suffered the worst possible start upon signing for Lazio, failing a drugs test and getting a 5 month ban, but he got reduced, but from there he ended up bossing this league, making a massive impact to this club, in his last season they won the Coppa Italia, but from here he ended up moving on to their rivals, AC Milan. Signing club that was known for having world class defenders in its history, Yapstam was no different. Fans loved him for his aggressive style, never been afraid to put in a challenge against any player. He made it to his second Champions League final, however this one would not be as successful. From here he moved on to Ajax in 2006 where he would end his career, however he would end on a high after winning multiple cups. And that is Yapstam, the legend of the game. Now let's switch gears and talk about a player that's a little bit more laid back, his rival in this video. Virgil van Dijk. Van Dijk started off his career at the lower levels of Dutch football for Groningen. 2011 to 2013, he made 62 appearances, scoring 7 goals, and he caught the eye of the Scottish champion Celtic. At the time, Celtic were desperate for a commanding, strong centre back, and Van Dijk did not disappoint. He was even able to step up and score vital goals when needed. Success quickly followed and from here he won multiple cups and multiple titles for Celtic. He was a fan's favourite, people wanted him to stay but they quickly realised the Premier League was inevitable and from here he signed for Southampton. He had to step his game up after signing, now playing in the Premier League and facing world class strikers every weekend but that was no problem to the big man. He seemed to take everything in his stride regardless who they were playing, if it was a physically demanding team or a more pacey, skillful setup, he would always excel and come up to the challenge. Eventually becoming captain of the club, it was inevitable he had to move on. Every team in Europe wanted him and he chose Anfield, signing for Liverpool. He became the most expensive defender in history when he signed for Liverpool. There was a lot of pressure on his shoulders but he didn't seem to show it. A lot of people were saying that he was the missing piece of the puzzle for Liverpool to get back on top and become the giants of English and European football like they used to be. And they were right. He has played a massive part in this club's recent success, getting to two Champions League finals, winning one of those and more recently winning the FIFA Club World Cup. But he was signed for one main reason, to win the Premier League, and that was something they achieved together in the 2019-20 season. That's Virgil van Dijk, arguably the best centre back currently playing in world football. Now let's see how these international careers play out for both these Dutch centre backs. Now let's start with Yapstam, he made 67 appearances for the Dutch national team scoring 3 goals during that time. He finished 4th at France 98 and got to a few semi-finals of the European Championships but never able to get their hands on a trophy. 
Virgil van Dijk has made 33 national appearances so far, scoring four goals. He was made the captain in 2018, and many people see him as a key component to any future success this national team will have. Now that we've talked about their careers, let's see what their fellow pros have to say about them. Once Yap's pace took him into the channel ahead of an attacking player, they had no chance. He was so strong it was a mismatch. He would not be beaten. Ryan Giggs. He was very quiet off the pitch, but once he got onto the pitch you knew he meant business. He wasn't somebody you wanted to cross. He was a real animal on the pitch. Paul Scholes. Sir Alex Ferguson didn't make many mistakes, but selling Stam was one. Zinedine Zidane. Giggs, Scholes and Zidane? Not bad. He is a very tough opponent, one of the best in the world, Lionel Messi. We all know Van Dijk is one of the best defenders in the world. With those long legs, he can get everywhere. Sergio Aguero. He is so good. He is powerful, quick. He possesses all the qualities. He is an incredible player. Erling Haaland. Messi, Aguero and Haaland? Alright. Now we know what the pros think, let's talk about the players they faced during their career. During Yap's time in the Premier League, he had to face a varied amount of strikers, some with pace, some with power, some of the greatest strikers the Premier League has ever seen. And during this time, the league was a lot more physical, you had to be up for the fight, there were some players that you had to face you knew you were going to get a tough game, and Stam always excelled. He was never scared to get in about it and do what he had to do to win. On the European front, he also had to face some legends of the game, like Baki Stuta and Inzaghi. Due to his ability to read the game along with his strength and bravery, no matter who he faced, he was never phased by it. Moving on to Van Dijk, one thing that has to be said, he does have a physical advantage against most of the strikers that play in the Premier League these days. Now you can't fault him for this, however it does show how much the league has changed in the last 20 years. However, one thing that does have to be mentioned is the players that Van Dijk has faced on the European stage. Not only some of the best players in European football, but some of the best players that's ever played the game, going up against Ronaldo and Messi, and not looking at a place. So much so that he's even been voted in the Ballon d'Or and was up on stage as the best player in world football. So before we make our final choice, let's recap each player. Yapstam making 488 club appearances, 67 international caps, and winning 15 major trophies. Virgil van Dijk, who so far has made 383 club appearances, has 33 international caps and has won 8 major trophies. Now getting to the toughest part of all of this, you're only allowed to select one. You're putting a team together, one centre back, who do you pick? Yap Sam or Virgil van Dijk? For me, how I broke down the choice, it's the last minute in the Champions League final, the strikers moving on goal, you can only have one defender to intimidate and stop that shot. Who do you pick? The Madman Yapstam. When I'm putting my team together, I want a centre back that's going to strike fear into the opposition. Strength, bravery, reading of the game, he has it all. So today's winner of football fights is Yapstam. Do you agree with this choice or do you think Van Dyke should have won this? Let us know, put your comments down below. Like I said, this is the Bosman viewing. If you like this, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.